and why we're doing this event. Um, and then I will pass it, pass it, pass it on to, um, to Trevor, our first keynote speaker, and then the panel, um, and Drew, um, who kindly agreed to um, speak today. ROTA is um, a social policy think tank, um, and we're basically um, interested in any issue that affects black, Asian, and minority ethnic groups. So criminal justice is one of them, but as an equality, race equality organization, and as an organization that is interested in the discrimination that is faced by BME groups, we see criminal justice, health inequalities, and other issues that affect BME communities from the equality perspective rather than the one side criminal justice perspective, for example. We're a small team, people think we're a big organization. Um, Rota people, raise your hands. Haven, our head of policy. Safer, our office manager. Nathan, our volunteer. Isabella. Anthony, where are you? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Who's the rest of the team? <laughs> well, not that small. Get <laughs> <laughs> um, Why are we doing this event? I suppose for, for two reasons. One is to have um, an honest and constructive discussion and a dialogue. Um, the dialogue is not going to finish today, but we want to start this dialogue about um, the progress that has or has not been made 10 years on. Um, and I think this dialogue and this conversation is quite timely. Um, the number of reasons for that, but I'll, I'll briefly mention four. Um, 2000, we have the Race Relations Act, um, and I suppose that's probably the most visible um, positive outcome, I would say, from the um, Stephen Lawrence inquiry. Um, 2009, we're talking about the Single Equality Act um, and the race duty being merged into um, a single duty. And this discussion is ongoing. Um, ROTA, for those who don't know, has been working quite closely with bodies such as the Equality and Human Rights Commission, with the government, um, and yesterday we attended a meeting with the Solicitor General putting across the concerns of the BME per sector and of um, other equality organisations that are, work with us in terms of race equality. And I have to say the meeting was quite positive. We raised, we raised a number of concerns around positive discrimination, around the security, discrimination in the private sector, and um, the coalition will be getting an update soon, and the updates will be on the website as well. But I think today the discussion is relevant because it is about how the race duty, the positive duty that followed the Stephen Lawrence's inquiry um, hopefully will be strengthened and will change and will hopefully will bring this change in culture within public services but also beyond society. The second reason I think which is, uh, makes this, uh, this, this um, evening uh, timely is the, the discussion around positive action and positive discrimination. Um, we all know that um, public authorities need to be shaken um, and the culture needs to be changed. There's a long way to go. Um, there's a lot of discussions around positive discrimination. Again, pieces of legislation such as the Single Equality Act, and I know the Equality Human Rights Commission is supporting this. We made a statement in our coalition letter to at least um, align legislation with EU directives and EU legislation. Um, the MPA inquiry, Cindy, uh, agreed to come and speak to us today um, into race and faith, um, which we hope it will inspire other, other public authorities as well to look inside and see what is happening um, and ask questions, ask for evidence, and then produce documents that will hopefully change the culture. CPS, Drew kindly uh, agreed to come and speak to us today. They've started and have been involved in this process, um, their community involvement work, they've set up separate panels, the hate crime panel that again Cindy is chairing and uh, the community involvement panel that I sit on. Um, they've introduced a community involvement strategy um, and yesterday there was a two day training of the BCPs in London about community involvement. So there's another, another initiative within the CPS that I think it is new but it is happening at a very timely, um, in timely fashion as well. And also public services, reforming public services. There's the work that is um, going in the Audit Commission in terms of introducing standards in their audits that introduce um, equality standards and human rights standards, the Healthcare Commission and the other auditors. 
So these are the positive things that are happening, uh, in my view, that make, that make this evening timely in terms of how we talk and how we push forward the agenda. But there are some other things that are happening, especially um, policy changes and legislative changes that are um, troubling the BME third sector. And ROTA's role is to support the BME third sector, provide policy information and disseminate the views of the, of the BME third sector. And there are some things that you are all aware of that are happening and making the sector a bit uncomfortable, whether it's called single group funding recommendation, whether it's called um, where is a, a CRE, Commission for Race Equality, waiting um, for some sort of guidance. And um, this, this tension creates um, um, a feeling of where is, uh, where is race equality. We need to put race equality back on the agenda. And what we will do is to, because sometimes, yes, um, the information is not disseminated correctly, sometimes the information is not disseminated at all, and I think the role of ROTA is to be there and disseminate that information, dispel any myths, but also push the agenda, push people to think a little bit outside the box as well. The second reason we're doing this event is because we want to launch our Transformative Justice Project. And this is a project we just, um, we just started now, we have two meetings, and it's um, steered by a multi-agency cross-sector partnership. Our chair, Yvette Williams, just met. Um, she works for the CPS. And the, uh, the members of the Transformative Justice Forum are, are in your pack. Um, you can read the organizations, and then thank you to them for their support. Um, the Transformative Justice Forum um, is based on a two-year um, <coughs> research project we did at Rota. It was originally funded by the CRE. Then it was funded by the Equality Human Rights Commission. Um, and it just shows that the work that we do at ROTA is an evidence, is evidence based. We don't just sit at our desks, do a little bit of research on Google, and come up with policy suggestions. We don't do that. We did a two-year research project. We went out, we spoke to practitioners who deal with hate crime cases in London. We spoke to policymakers, we spoke to victims, and we said, what do we need to do at the London level? And what do we need to do to inspire other regions to do something about hate crime. Um, and one of the key things that came out of the research, in addition to using mediation and alternative criminal justice methodologies, was the need to work together um, across sectors and across agencies. And, and that's why we set up the Community Justice Project, which is a, a project that was at least run for four years and is now funded by the council. Um, and through the Testimony Justice Forum, which is steering the work of the, of the project, we hope to actually start bringing people together through the training that we have piloted, through the, uh, the policy work that we're doing, the networking work that we're doing, to start bringing that change in the culture. Join our forces, join our entities, and do something for London for, um, to reduce hate crime at the regional level, but also inspire the other regions to do something similar. I would leave it there, but before I go away, I want to say something about um, Doreen. Um, Doreen, I was putting together the five-year business plan for Rota. We have their away dates uh, Saturday. So uh, another, word, another reason this discussion is timely, because it would inspire us, and would give us a mandate as well. And I was going through the publications of Rota, so I wanted to see what was going on a few years ago. Um, and Rota was... Re was renamed ROTA, Race on the Agenda, from GLARE, which was originally set up in 1997. And one of our first publications was on, on the exclusion of, 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 you know, of black boys um, at school. And, and you did the forward, and you said in that report, the time is right for change. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Cling to it with both hands. And this is 10 years ago. 10 years on, here we are. Thank you very much. Um, thank you to the speakers. Thank you to the panelists. Thank you very much to the Policy Human Rights Commission for providing us with the venue. Um, I know that there's been a lot of, um, um, how should I say it, um, interesting discussions around the, the 10th anniversary. Um, I see Rota's role as a um, broken relationships, as a networker. And we're here to join this discussion in a constructive way. So thank you very much and enjoy the evening.